This is from Dave LaFay. I just finished my first year after flight school, and it's been a wonderful, productive year. Thank you to the entire Lane Geek team for your support. Now I'm looking forward to medium and long term. What advice would you give on moving from a flipping slash finance or from flipping slash financing five acre parcels to bigger deals? What does that look like? What advice would you give? That's a great question. That's not on YouTube. It's the only place I'm looking. Yeah, it's me on, too. It's on Facebook. On the Facebook. I don't even have Facebook. So he's done flight school. He's doing a few deals per month now, it sounds like. He's flipping a five acre parcels. He's he's doing for minnows. Cash? He's doing minnows, Mike. He's he's doing them for cash. He's so doing the for business terms. is built yes, yeah, so the business is built upon minnows. That being said, you know, if you have the capital, you know, you can do a dolphin and a whale. The whales uh, can take longer to turn, not always, but, you know, I think a healthy land business in the long run could have a, a variety of things going on, right? And they're all going to be turning, uh, like that cement truck, right? It's going to be turning and deals are going to be popping out left and right, and uh, that's just going to come with, with time. If you have the capital to support it, then uh, I say, like like uh, like Forbes said about the oyster, right? Do, do what you want. You've got... You've got a business model now that can handle the deal flow, right? It can handle any kind of deal. It's going to handle it as it comes through. So you can mail whatever you want. But remember that the bread and butter are the minnows because your money comes back quick. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just a, those are very easy properties to move. But that being said, if you want to do the dolphins and whales, your system should be able to handle that if you built it correctly, for sure. Well, that's so that's the key, right? I don't know where um, who, who was it? this was Dave. Dave. Dave LaFay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so Dave's been around, right? Um, I think the thing to stress is, is the business built properly? Are you doing all the work or is it like you're really figuring out where to mail and how much and you're sitting outside the business making good CEO decisions? If that's the case and the business is what Mike was talking about, where it just spins, like it's good, then 100%, right? You get to start experimenting with other areas maybe, or other sizes of parcels, right? Or you start to get to do different stuff. If that's not the case, if that business isn't really spinning on its own, then my advice is to spend time on that. It actually, once you've been doing it for like a year, um, it's not hard to outsource the stuff that you know you should outsource. It's actually really easy to do it because you've done it so many times in so many other ways. So um, I would urge you to get that done first because this is minnows. I don't know. Name your analogy here. This is a this is a base hit business, but those base hits add up, man, for sure. So as long as it's going, as long as you're buying, you're marketing, and you're selling with very little work that you're doing effort there that frees you up to go start looking for bigger deals. And, you know, I'm in that place where I'm looking for bigger deals and I feel like a hero because I bring in a bigger deal. And I'm like, this is awesome. Like, Hey, we're killing it. And my wife's like, yeah, well that's great. But we also sold like six little deals in the time it took you to go get that one there, sunshine. Yeah. And you're like, Oh, okay. I'm like, well, good thing we built that business then, hon. There you go. Right. So just, just, Keep that in mind as you're going after that kind of stuff. Well said. Yeah, very well said. I think, um, Dave, it sounds like you've built a solid foundation. Just don't let that slide. Don't let that keep die. Keep the foundation. Don't let that base model die. Yep. And experiment with bigger areas, of course. Are you going to be able to buy larger parcels at 25 cents on the dollar? I mean... Possibly not. Um, and, you know, you're going to have to just test the market with your mailings. But but the equation works. It's just the numbers might be a little bit different, right? 